Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're ready to explore what a boat plot is. A boat plot is a tool to help us understand the transfer function gain and the transfer function uh, phase angle. Now, here's an example of what a boat plot looks like. On the vertical axis, we have the, the transfer gain and we express it in terms of decibels. On the horizontal axis, we have the frequency, and notice that it's a logarithmic scale, that every time we increase the same distance on the scale, it's tenfold the value we had before. Same for the phase angle. On the vertical axis, we have the phase angle in degrees. On the horizontal axis, we have the frequency, but again, it's in a logarithmic scale. So now, a boat plot, let's read some of the characteristics about the boat plot. For one thing, the magnitude, it's a magnitude versus frequency plot for a transfer function. So the vertical axis gives us the magnitude, the horizontal axis gives us the frequency of the function. It can do that for the magnitude, but we can also draw a boat plot for the phase angle versus the frequency, where the vertical axis is simply the phase angle. Notice that the magnitude of the plot is in decibels. So when we talk about the magnitude of the transfer function, indeed we use decibels like we showed you in the previous video. The frequency is a logarithmic scale. So notice that it's not a linear scale, it's a logarithmic scale on the horizontal axis. The slope that you see here on the magnitude is a ratio of decibels per decade. Now that's an important thing here because a decade is the distance from here to the next so that we have a tenfold increase. So each decade is a tenfold increase and the slope is expressed as a number of decibel gain per decade. So in this case you can see that the decibel gain is 20 decibels for every decade. So if we're going from 10 to 100 on the frequency we have a 20 decibel gain. Going from 100 to 1000 we have another 20 decibel gain. So you can see that the slope on the on the boat plots are always expressed in terms of a certain gain in decibels for every decade. Another way to look at it is that it's the decibel per tenfold change in the frequency or the decibel gain per tenfold change in the frequency. Both plots replace curves by straight lines approximations and that's also an important thing. Notice the little blue lines here. The real, the real relationship between phase angle and frequency would be followed by the little blue lines. Same over here, the real relationship between the, the magnitude and the, and the frequency, again, would be followed by that curve. But what both plots do, they get rid of the curve and they replace everything by straight line approximations. Most of the time, that's plenty sufficient. We don't have to worry about that approximation, but we'll see some examples where we need to maybe take it a little bit into account. But most of the time, we can simply ignore it. We just lose, use the straight line approximations in both plots. And then both plots will handle the seven factors in any typical transfer function equation. So what are those seven factors? And then also, after we do the seven factors, we do them separately, one at a time, and then we graphically combine them, and we'll show you how to do that as well. The seven factors are the constant gain, the pole at the origin, the zero at the origin, the simple pole, the simple zero, the quadratic pole, and the quadratic zero. So we're going to learn how to draw both plots separately for each of these seven factors, and then we'll show you how to combine them into a single both plot. And that's the way we handle both plots, and that makes things quite easily, because really what we do is we take a transfer function, and we pull it apart, and we evaluate it one little step at a time for each of those seven factors before we combine them into a single boat plot. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of what a boat plot is and after we'll show you how to use it you're going to like boat plots because they make it very easy to analyze the transfer function of a circuit and that's the purpose of these boat plots to make that aspect of it a lot easier. The key is the gain per decade and the fact that we can then approximate by straight lines rather than curves and then do each factor separately before we combine them. That's the beauty of these boat plots and so stay tuned and we'll show you how to actually use the boat plots and that is how it's done.